Good afternoon and welcome to the Magic Forest with me and Mr. Henry. Um, we done such a beautiful day today. Like really, you just you know, it, and it, like the place where we were last night was kind of a sleepy city, um, but quite industrial. Um, and then when we just came out of that, it, you know, it wasn't long out of that. And then suddenly we're just on this beautiful road um, through some really cute little villages along the side of the river. But then you start to see the uh, the, the magic mountains of Ninbin. But, and you know, unfortunately, there's all these massive concrete processing places and suddenly you get these big explosions and... Um, you see the the whole cliff just falling down like an avalanche and it just it is a bit you know it's like oh my god like that's the cultural heritage is the Ninbin Valley granite um, pillars um, and yet humans are just busily trying to smash them all down <laughs> Um, but then I guess that's that's just the nature of developing <laughs> development. Um, but well, the, the, it, it's beautiful. Um, it's industrial at the moment, but where we're going, it's not. Um, I'm walking without the 18 kilogram bag. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, like so, we just did. We've done about 15k today, and we just skipped it. We just literally skipped it. Um, but like we were sort of leaving town and I thought oh, there's plenty of places to stop for breakfast um, and there was loads of signs saying uh, you know um, Bumble and um, Ban Me and but we were all shut I was like why is everywhere shut or well, they had no bread for the Ban Me and um because I guess it was Saturday morning and most of these breakfast places are kind of like Monday to Friday. Um, so we were then worried we weren't going to get any breakfast because we'd been walking like an hour or so. Henry had breakfast, he was all right. <laughs> um, and then uh, we're just like, almost like the last shop in the village. I said bun bowl, which is like beef noodles. I was like, yes. And there's some boys outside, there were some uh, uncles outside um, and they just sat me down and gave me tea as they usually do um, and gave us a bowl of noodles they suggested that we eat Henry <laughs> but um, I said no he's my best friend um, and uh, so then you know look like okay good right now we can mission on uh, had breakfast you know, good bowl of beef noodles ready to go um you know the only thing i was short of was a coffee um and coffee is a funny thing because actually you'd think that coffee was um something that uh hello, hello. <laughs> yeah lunch <laughs> yeah lunch uh the bowl nimbin yeah oh no no with the bowl toy tick the bowl to the bowl yeah. <laughs> Debo uh, Hanoi Ninbin. Andang Debo Hanoi Ninbin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ninbin. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, but I hadn't had a coffee. And I thought, well, that would be really just what I need. And then there was just a small little cute village um, and a cute little tea shop. And, uh, like, uh, this sweet boy, and I said, oh, you know, black coffee. Uh, black coffee. Actually, I had an iced coffee because it was quite hot. Um, I was just like, oh, it's so delicious, nice. Give me some, they always give you, like, a, um, an iced tea or a hot tea. Um, with uh, everything almost <laughs> and uh, so we had a nice tea and a coffee um, and then uh, you know I said oh, we were walking to Nimbin and, um, 
then like you know gradually other villagers started to come and sit around and see what the white guy's doing <laughs> and um the guy and then i was saying to, to, to the guy oh uh, how much is for the coffee he was like no 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 don't don't nothing nothing and i'm like everything is so sweet like just he, you know he's, he's a little business owner and just doing his thing um but just to just give you a free coffee and then he filled up my flask with iced tea um and and then also he gave us a, an iced tea uh, for luncheon uh, for the road um and so they were sweet and then just walking along and just fe feeling good um and you see you, you see that you know when you're walking away from the city and into the country um you know just uh, the people just get like just more and more pleased to see you um, because I guess in the city people you know strangers are walking past every day but in the country they want to know what you're doing where you're going and what you're doing sometimes you don't have time to stop like you've got to walk 35 kilometers um, but uh, uh, you know it, it's it's so sweet and then um, then I was like, right, right, now we're really ready for the long, hot road. Um, and he goes, um, as we were just, you know, walking past and feeling good. Oops. This is a single-use plastic straw, which I'm totally against. However, I am going to be make it into a multi-use plastic straw by keeping it in my bag and then refusing plastic straws. I did have a nice bamboo one, but um, it got lost. Um, and so then we're on, on to the hot road. Yes, sir. Ah, so good. Oh. Um, and then, um, but I thought, ah, oh, maybe I should have got some snacks because we walked past a lot of little grandma shops, but just a lot of them is just like, just horrible cheap sweets, crisps, cheap biscuits, cheap horrible things in bags, and it's not really my cup of tea. <laughs> and I thought maybe I should have got some snacks because even though I'm full of noodles, um, a snack would be nice around two o'clock, which is in four minutes time and then just as I was thinking probably should have bought some snacks because I've got lots of fluids uh, a sweet little uh, auntie um, come by on her motorbike on her scooter and um, she, she had like <laughs> all these vegetables hanging off her scooter and she, she she patted the back of behind her as if to say get on them <laughs> get on the scooter <laughs> and they were like um Oh, uh, I'm like, you know, it's okay, toy tick the bolt, which means we like walking. Um, and um, then she just like pulled out these bananas. Oh, would you like some bananas? So, oh, yeah, oh, wrong, wrong. Yeah, I love some bananas. Um, and she tried to give us a whole bunch. She said, no, just two, just two is fine. Hi. Um, so then she gave us some nice, delicious bananas. Um, and and just and then like I was just walking along the road, and actually just like felt this actual like a rush, like in my fingertips and down my arms of just like love for um like human goodwill, um, and it was almost like the feeling of like almost like romantic love you know <laughs> like when you see the girl at school that you're in love with and you get that tingling and butterflies in your stomach it was just such a it was just a feeling just so, like I, I know that feeling because I you know um, I meet beautiful people every day <laughs> but it was like I'd never had it as an actual physical sensation um, and so that's why 
I thought I'd make a little YouTube and sit down here. And now I can see where we're headed, um, which is beautiful. Um, and like the Google Maps keeps trying to get you back on the busy main road. <laughs> so you have to like add stops along the river to make it detour. Um, so we, it, we're going to do 42 kilometers today because it's a detour. Then I thought actually 42 is nice because that's a marathon. Um, and it, we've got no bags. Big, we've got no 18 kilogram bag so it's just nice um, but anyway I'm going to love you and leave you and eat my bananas and smoke a cigarette and then get on my way Okay, cheers then my lovers and see you in the magic pile.